Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe. Unit 2018.1 brings new levels of control and flexibilities. One of the coolest features coming in 2018.1 is Shadow Graph. Whether you are a beginner or professional, it helps you create a range of shadow. Instead of hard writing code, you create and connect nodes in a shadow network. In our previous episode, we have discussed how to start with the shadow graph in Unity and achieve two examples of the visual effects. My goal for this example is to create another shadow graph effect, Fernial effect. During the process, we are familiar with more nodes in shadow graph, including their descriptions and return values. As always, the link for the project repository is on the description below. You can also choose to read the text version of this episode. Okay, let's get into it. Let's open up Unity and download the Cat Statue 3D model. You will notice that all of the assets of this model has been imported inside this folder. Drag the Cat Statue's model into ScenView. Create one new material called cat material. Then click the create menu in the project window and select shadow from the drop down. On here, you can create either a PBR or unlight shadow graph assets. In this example, we choose two PBR graph. This will create a shadow graph assets in the project. You can double click on the assets to bring up the shadow graph edit window. When you open the shadow graph, you start with the master node. You connect nodes into master nodes to create the look of your surface. In this project, we want to make one for now effect. To add a node, simply right click and select create node. Search for for now effect. For now effect is the effect of different flexions on the surface depending on the view angle. Whereas you approach the grazing angle, more light is reflected. You can try to connect the output with the import emissions on master node. Drag the power value to check it out. I'm not too much concerned with the object color. If you want, you can create one color node and one multiply node, which returns the input A multiplied it by input B. Now, we have to get XS something with the import albedo and import normal texture. Texture 2D assets defined one constant texture 2D assets for use in the shadow. Select the statute's texture. To sample the texture 2D assets, it should be used in conjunction with a sample texture 2D node. You can find the object texture and normal texture inside the assets folder. Connect the output RGBA with the input albedo. Right click in the preview window and select one custom mesh for easy to check. Then we need the normal map. Normal texture is an RGB texture where each pixel represents the differences in directions the surface should appear to be facing relative to its unmodified surface normal. If you want the Fernail effect lighting change each frame, Times node can provide access to various time parameters in the shadow. Each port return one vector2 value. Change another node called multiply node and combine these two nodes together. But it's not looking very nature yet. The reason is that output time is always increased by time. However, we want our lighting power increase and decrease in one range. So we choose to use same time output. Also, you can create one node called remap node. 
Remap node returns a value between the x and the y components of the import out minimum maximum based on the linear interposition of the value of the import in between the x and the y components of the import in minimum maximum. Save the assets and switch bank. Drag the cat material to our statues model. Select the cat statue object and drag the cat shadow into here. You will notice that our cat statues has one for now effect. Perfect. One quick way to set your camera transform component. Select the main camera game object. Press Command or Control Shift F to align with view. Now we can use the sense step to review the Fresnel effect. Drag another 3D model to the hierarchy. We can quickly edit your surface by changing the default value. Let's add textures and complex interactions to this example. Alright, this is the end of this video. To learn more about the underlying material models, check out the existing Unity Standard Shadow document. You can download the project from the description below. By the way, you can join our server on Discord. In the next video, we will continue to talk about more basic nodes in Shadow Graph and provide another two examples, dots effects and random noise effects. Stay tuned for future updates from my channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share with friends, and subscribe to my channel. There's much more to come. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. You are the best.